Welcome to another episode of the Headlight Restoration Pro, where I'll be showing you that there are more polishers out there that are perfect for this method and certified by the Headlight Restoration Pro. Stay tuned. Let's get down to business. First things first, what a wonderful backdrop, eh? <laughs> this is uh, my fish tank, one of the fish tanks I've had through the years. I was a fish enthusiast and a Aquarius way before I become a headlight restoration pro. Uh, figured it'd be a nice backdrop for the beginning of this. But basically, like I said, this video is going to be about uh, pretty much testing of different headlight uh, polishes and different polishes that are good for headlights. All of these are technically pretty much the shit at uh you know headlight restoration one way or another um and they can all be used believe it or not for headlight restoration and for uh definitely expressly my method the polishing step okay so i marked off the paper as you see each section has a section this is a basic uh printer paper no non-coated uh printer paper which is very moisture wicking or whatever whatnot and you know it's very porous and uh the setting up a test right here i'm putting on a um, calendar board a dry erase which is waterproof of course uh just so it can be a fair test to make sure that nothing's soaking through and uh you know laying on the back but i'm put, trying to put basically a fair amount of each um you know supply on there the first one right there in the pink that is the 3m headlight hard plastic cleaner which we've all been using if you follow this channel it's very sought after and it's discontinued that is the control of it so we're trying to measure up to that um you know good the other one i just did there was the um turtle wax it was a little bit off uh, center a little bit out of focus there on the on the side that one is the new um 3m ex compound which 3m recommends but we're going to see about that um, very fluffy. This here is the Chemical Guys Headlight Restoration, okay, which essentially is a headlight polish, believe it or not. And actually, they don't market it this way, but actually should be used in the way that I am going to show you uh, that works with my method. Look at that. You see the difference there? You see that big wet spot already versus these other ones? That's going to mean something here. Uh, I'm going to tell you in a minute. Um... Uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to load all these up on a paper. We're going to hit a, you know, a timer and we're going to go at least an hour, probably like a little bit out more than an hour, uh, just to be safe, but at least an hour and come back and see what it looks like. This right here is the treatment. Okay. And, uh, that is a, a actual headlight product. This here is the fits. It kind of got a bigger blob, but that's okay. And we're going to see how they all did. And this is an hour later. Okay. An hour and some change later, but an hour and 15 minutes or so later. As you see those little, uh, dark soak marks on the outside of each one of these. Um, it's basically a telltale sign. The bigger it is, the more, um, you know, the more, uh, oil based the polish is. Most polishes, if not expressly all polishes, are either water based or, um, oil based. Okay. That's for if they're for headlights or anything. That's the two things you got. Water is pretty much self-explanatory. It's probably distilled water. Um, the oil base, uh, oil is a little bit more complicated. The oil is a fuel, more like a kerosene or um, something called a, a mineral spirit is the most common. It's um, a corrosive oil. It's kind of a version of paint thinner. Okay. Uh, it smells like a, it's like a diesel fuel. It smells just like diesel fuel. It stinks bad. If you ever notice about the 3M hard lens, it smells crazy it smells like uh, you poured some diesel fluid in your wax and you know all your polish and shook it up in terms of headlight restoration in this method or in general in any kind of method this is highly favored this is what you want okay so what we have here is just regular um, you know alkaline water 9.5 this is my water of choice I love this water uh, sent you not getting any kind of plug on that that's just what I drink from day to day uh, it's like a treat for me but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and put one drop of water here 
and just see what it looks like in an hour, okay, and watch, um, see what happens. But like I said, uh, the fuel is a little more complicated. It's, uh, you know, typically normally it's mineral spirits of some sort, which is, you know, a, like I said, like a paint thinner or a solvent. It has a little bit of, um, uh, corrosiveness to it, a little bit of, cleaning uh, ability to it with a lot of saturation and penetration in fact a lot of these oils that are in there are commonly referred to as penetrating oils okay a quick example of a penetrating oil would be wd-40 newsflash no wonder why they say that old wives tell works it kind of gives you appearance of it working but it doesn't really work uh, if you applied it in a certain way or a real way it might have a little bit of effect okay but don't try that it's uh too uh difficult to try to manage okay just warning in fact, uh, oil is far more penetrating, not only penetrating, but lasting once it penetrates than water. You see how the water is just sitting up? And this is very absorbent paper, okay? It's not coated or nothing. They're both the same sheets. And you see how uh, the chemical guys has that big oil stain? That's all oil. That's not water because water doesn't do that. That's why I'm showing you this test. Okay, now look at the oil. Look at the olive oil. That is just basic kitchen olive oil. Actually, it's expensive olive oil. It's meant to dip with uh, fine breads and stuff like that. I am not, um, you know, like all Sididian high class and all this shit, but I I am okay i like i like good stuff okay so anyhow <laughs> uh, all right and um you know there's nothing wrong with that okay i'm just saying but uh the uh, it's a very fine olive oil very expensive that little bottle is probably like 15 bucks and it's just it's actually it's not cooked for cooking it's meant for uh eating so it is uh food qualified uh, oil or uh, you know edible oil in a sense this other stuff that's inside of uh, these different compounds is much more volatile than that you don't want to eat that shit you don't even want to smell it too much um, but did you see okay here we go did you see um, the time stamps here I'm putting there so it's well over an hour and look at this let's see what happened here okay look at the 3m up there it has a solid I don't know if you guys are picking that up I'm trying to focus my camera it has a solid dark little wet mark around there it was bigger at one point I watched it but it dried up because what happens is water dries up so uh, essentially some of these uh, compounds are you know cut or they have in a sense uh, water and oil in it at the same time okay even though it's heavier on one or the other and it's classified itself as oil or water a lot of them have both in them but you see how this one here the turtle wax here um it has a little uh you know a nice bigger one and this one here has absolutely none why would that be more than likely it's heavily water-based okay a lot of polishes and compounds and some uh, some compounds and polishes right are what they call an emulsion which is kind of like um you know if you could think of uh, fruity pebbles or something in a bowl of milk okay um the, the little pebbles would be the oil okay the milk would be what is sitting in so they're not uh pretty much released until you start polishing okay it's really it's kind of complicated but that's the best way i can metaphor it and look at this one this is the one to watch out for because it has a heavy amount in it which is good okay we're looking for the oil saturation okay we want the oil base okay and, and nine times out of ten most of these products right here are using the same oil that not one of them is using this oil using that oil using this oil um, nine times out of ten this one has a real good pattern here nine times out of ten they're using the same kind of oil base which is the, like I said that mineral spirit and whatever um, you know it's really common this one here has a real good one so this is a hopeful for me too I'm gonna uh, see what it ranks when I rank it uh, you know when we do the testing or whatnot uh, so, uh, you know, more than likely, the better the stain there, the better it can be. I'm a little bit worried about the chemical guys because it's a huge, huge stain. It might be uh, oversaturated and this and that. Um, but here's the thing. I'm going to give you a news flash and a pro tip. 
Um, any one of these can be cut with any of each other or another product. Okay. Now, say if you had this compound perfect, what this, in my experience, this perfect it right here is extremely good at cutting, which means it removes any scratches or imperfections very well. But on one of my last videos, I said just something is missing. I knew what it was that this was water based. Okay. The old version of what they used to use or what they, what they, um, um, what we use in our headlight restoration method, uh, the um, the hard lens is uh, more oil based. But look at how the water you see the spread line of the water versus the oil. The water's damn near dried up. The oil is still saturated and still sitting there. That's the beauty about the oil. You want something to stick around there. And you don't want it to, um, you know, dissipate. That has to do with the polishing effect. That has to do with the penetrating inside of that porous headlight surface. And it also has to do with clarity of the vision or, or the see-through or the transparency of the headlight or the clarity upon the vision when you look at the headlight, okay, or the light coming through. It has heavily to do with it. But anyways, here's our test subjects. And both of these lights have been tested on before, as you can kind of see, um, you know, around here, uh, I've done different tests with them. And, you know, the thing with headlights is, like I said, with this method, uh, you can, you know, you can do a headlight restoration, you know, dozens and dozens of times before a light is useless. Okay, I've never seen one useless, and I have all kind of tests one. This, these test lights right here are about three years ago. Okay, I threw a bunch away when I uh, moved uh, locations. Um, but each one of these has had, uh, five, this one in the back has had about two different tests on one side. This one in the front has had probably about five, six, six different tests. You know, uh, about three different times. This would probably be the fourth uh, test and I'm talking like you know sectioned off and trying stuff on little different spots or whatever but uh, you know and then pretty much all you have to do is resurface it and it's ready for tests again okay so I'm showing you this and I would like to save time uh, so I'm speeding it up I didn't want to just start at the the stage that is ready for polishing because I wanted you to see there's no flim flam I'm working the steps I'm using my products that I normally use to do my headlight restoration the headlight restoration pros method so with that being said um, you know we're going on to this next light and we're going to be sectioning these off in thirds since we have uh, six products to test okay one of them is not a test um, it is the actual headlight um, hard lens cleaner from 3m that I uh, use on most of these videos and it is uh, going to be you know off top one of the best okay it's going to be the top of the line it's going to be the five star. It's going to be, you know, the go to whatever. Um, but like I said, they discontinued it because they're trying to usher people into a more expensive uh, layout where you have to buy, uh, you know, this for the cutting, you know, this compound for the cutting. Um, you know, then you have to buy another one for the polishing, which will introduce a little bit of oils, those emulsions I was talking about, those fruity pebbles I was talking about, which will, you know, be a little bit more oil based and, um, you know, introduce a little bit of oil for that clarity and protection okay so they, they they want you to they want to transition into that because they want more money okay plain and simple or it's something else that just a side effect that they're going to be getting more money if they want you to buy it in this form but um like i said there's tons of stuff out there and there's more um products coming out uh, as you see here, I'm just showing you that I'm going to be using a different pad for each one so there's no cross-contamination in um, these testings. Right here, I'm going to use the one I used yesterday that already has a little bit of the 3M hard lens cleaner on it. We're going to start with that since it's the control. Okay, so we're going to see what everything else measures up to this. And that's how we get our uh, data here. And at the end, you're going to see some surprises. I guarantee you're going to see some surprises, and this is going to broaden your horizons, okay? Um, you're going to, uh, you know, really want to watch to the end, and you're going to see, um, you know, a lot of stuff that's going to blow your mind. And I'm going to explain to you why these work, okay? Um, with that being said, of course, um, what I was telling you is the cream the crop, the number one don't waste your time with anything else right you want to go for this why because it's one of the cheapest and it's also one of the best okay 
and it lasts a long time one of these bottles right here will last me like six months okay and uh, i just ordered like uh 12 of them <laughs> 12 of them okay from a company who was actually still in stock with them and I, i'm due to go pick them up tomorrow um but I will still use them, but at the same time, I could probably use any of these. And I'm just going to say that for the sake of argument, uh, you know, wait to the end and see how many of them that I would actually use. But look how beautiful that 3M came out. And uh, mind you, this is not a perfect light structure. This is good enough to test on, but there is some imperfections on these lights, on this light, uh, primarily, that is not going to get um, it uh, that perfect 1000% that perfect 10 you know to come out like a 9.2 um, you know uh, in, in some of your cases you guys might say it's a 10 but um, in my case you know there's different lights that can only come out to be uh, so good I always say you can only work with what is given to you but once again this is good enough for testing so going ahead and going with this dab method here dab method dab method and uh right off the bat i can tell you this one is kind of cool because remember uh the pattern on the previous test it smells uh it has a nice little smell to it it has a little gasoline smell it's kind of light in comparison to the other one uh which means it might be cut a little bit more heavier on the water base but it still has that good smell and that good feel to it um you know when i'm testing stuff like this i you know i touch it i smell it you know i don't taste it because it's just deadly but <laughs> you know i smell it and uh do all this stuff uh to kind of get the feel of it because i know what i'm looking for and i know what is best so i'm trying to do my best to explain this to you guys uh if you're not surprised yet uh just pay attention look at the clarity difference there's not really any clarity difference um one of the biggest reasons why you can say this is because um when they're formulating it, amongst their community or amongst the people who know okay which is us now which is me of course which is going to be you after watching this um what they're looking for to make a good headlight product is the pretty much the same thing it's a formula okay it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a certain denomination it's not some magical thing they they laugh as well as i laugh how everybody's like listen uh, there's a new secret you know listen i'm gonna hide my can so nobody can know or let's uh try some orange juice or you know i'm gonna pee on my light and then scrub it with a wool pad and oh my god this is the new headlight method right <laughs> <laughs> they laugh at it because nothing is really going to work. We laugh at it because nothing is going to work except certain stuff. Okay. This is one of those things like where uh, just for this aspect of polishing a headlight, whether you're polishing it on a method like mine or polishing it just flat out. If you're a headlight polisher, if you're, which I do not approve of. Okay. Or any, in any accord. Um, these are the things you would use. Anything concerned with polishing of, of any kind of sort on a headlight, these are the things you're going to use. Okay, this one specifically is more broad of a range. This is a, a compound, okay? Um, it is uh, lacking oil, but at the same time, it cuts so hard that it makes it super clear. Now, if you were to mix this, okay, newsflash, newsflash, if you were to mix this with something else, it would probably be pretty top notch. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go into that because it's a little bit complicated. Or if you were to hit this with any one of these after this, it would be um, pretty amazing. Um, but I'm telling you, the cutting power, I was, you know, the cutting power of this 3M right here is, is very fierce. It's the highest cutting power out of all of these things. And I'm going to tell you that right now. But like I said, it is water based. It's extremely water based. If you look on the back of the, of the bottle, one of the first ingredients, um, is, is water. Okay. Um, just like any other ingredients or food safe uh, ingredients or food that you eat, Cheetos, whatever it is, when they list um, ingredients on the back, if you guys don't know, um, you know, whatever it is, you know, cheese, this and that, the first ingredients to the last, they're going to list what has the most in it. Okay, first to what has the least. So if you had like, um, I don't know, mac and cheese or some shit, it's going to be like, 
you know, either cheese or wheat or wheat or cheese or whatever because the macaroni and the cheese. And then it's going to start having other stuff in it. And they have to do that legally um, for the most part on the food. And um, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it. But I believe it's the same thing uh, with these chemicals or whatever. And, you know, just like I said, I'm, uh, I would never tell you something I'm not sure about. Okay. Uh, then if I did, I would say I'm not sure. Right. <laughs> That's just the way I am. I mean, the thing is, I'm I'm pretty pretty sure but uh, you know I, i'm not 100 percent on it so anyways but that's how it works if you look at the back of that bottle it says water but this one here um i have high hopes on this one i'm very uh interested in this one here it's really stinky and it's really oily you see how that i mean it has that good oil in it that uh, makes that 3m product uh kind of look at that right there it stopped me in my speech look at that damn look at that that is sexy right there. Very fast as well. Um, the way this feels, it's a really thick compound, but once it starts working, it spreads out and penetrates very well. And once again, you want that penetration because remember polycarbonate is a poor surface. It's like a quilted blanket or a sponge. It's not like glass. If you look at it underneath a microscope, it's not like glass. That's why it's foggy. Right now, it's closer to glass because it's been polished down and broken down and filled in. Um, yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous little um, uh, thing that, uh, you know, that chemical guys headlight restoration uh that is a um good thing and i'm not gonna lie i knew that uh, i just was working my way up to it um it's a very nice product for using it correctly they don't market it that way and they probably should um because this way uh it is pretty awesome uh working with it this way it's a little heavy on the oil but like i said you could always cut any one of these this one here is Flitz, the Flitz. It's uh, traditionally a metal polish, uh, but they've tweaked their um, branding and all that stuff, and it, it applies to all kind of stuff, and it even says for hard plastic or for plastic on the label. Uh, it's one of the things it says first, and also says on the back. So I figured I'd give it a try because this is what the old school heads swear by, and this is what a lot of people swear by. Oh, just hit it with some fits and this and that, and guess what? Look, they're right. <laughs> if they use it correctly, if they just got some fucked up headlight all spotted and messed up and you just tear into it with some fits, you're just playing with yourself. It's just going to come right back. It's not doing nothing. But if you remove it, hit it with this, and do the proper method, uh, it could be beneficial. As you see, it came out really clear. And keep in mind, uh, these headlights, both of these headlights are about probably pushing 20 years old. Okay, these are old headlights. This is from like, uh, this I think is a Nissan from like a, uh, like a Nissan Altima, like uh, maybe a 2000 and I don't know eight seven something like that and then the other one is from like a 2004 or right. four or something right um so these are really old lights and i got them from a junkyard years ago they've just been sitting in the garage collecting dust and, and heat and cold and all that shit um but this one here is an actual headlight um and one of the best uh, bang for the bucks okay um i'm not actually allowed to speak about prices but everything is listed in the bio if you want to check that out or a direct link if you want to purchase any of these um they're in the bio uh and they're going to continue to be in the bio as uh 3m has abandoned us <laughs> with their stuff with their uh, clear coat or whatever and i you know even though i'll be using it um, you know, most people are going to have a hard time getting it. So this is going to be in there and that's going to, it's going to be the way it stays. And I'm going to update my, um, bio sooner or later to include all of these. Uh, note, I would never include anything in my bio that did not work. That was not recommended by me. Okay. I never would. Um, so, um, obviously, um, you know, all of these pretty much work. Okay. And that is one of the surprises I was telling you about. All of these products right here work. And they work pretty damn well. Okay. This one looks a little funny on the side that way I just did, but that's because the light is a little funny. I'm looking at it directly. And, um, like I said, these lights aren't perfect, but, um, you know, they're going to come out pretty much perfect. Perfect enough. Um, 
but all of these are usable in my method or in any headlight method okay these are all and here's the thing when you stick with something that's made for headlights, you're usually doing good. It's kind of like if you're gonna, you know, you're gonna you're gonna paint a house. You, you kind of wanna, you know, stick with shit that says house paint. You don't wanna get toilet seat paint and shit and start painting a house, right? I mean, people, you know, oh, I just use this. Uh, I use 2K clear and I use this and I, 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 you know, I use a toothbrush with. It's just like, come on, man, get the fuck out of here. It's 2023. You know how many products there is out there for every single thing, okay? These companies are million dollar companies and they're going to have more people working on a better, uh, you know, you know, product than, you know, freaking something that's not made for what it is. But anyhow, we uh, went ahead and sprayed these just to give it uh, one more extra test to see how it works. And uh, just to mind, um, I did keep these in my garage for a couple days to make sure and see how everything sat up and everything is perfect and looks even better in person. Uh, but given a quick little coat here, it's not quite as much uh, as I would use in the real uh, world application. It's just to see how it you know holds up and how it shines. I like to monitor my tests for some time after I uh, you know do them or whatnot. But you can see here. Um, you know how amazing this is and even this light has a lot of stuff on the inside like dust on the inside that's coming through uh, the light holes or whatever because you know they've just been sitting or whatnot so uh, you know it looks great for how good it looks so now we're gonna rank them and rate them and get ready for some big surprises okay big big surprises okay this is the 3m hard lens in the middle okay and um that side right here that i'm showing you right there you can see that line down the middle um that is from something i tested before and it just kind of i don't know did something on the inside like water vapor or something i don't know what it did but um so this side is doing better than what you'd think okay um but anyways that 3m of course is five star number one okay this one here is um it's kind of incomplete but that's not a bad thing it's going to get your stuff super crystal clear but in a different way so i'm giving it a three and a half star okay it's the 3m the new 3m okay this um i'm giving it a three and a half star just because it's not oil based enough but you can change that okay as far as the cutting it has the highest cutting power out of all of these it removes any kind of blemish and scratches really good and that's why it gets clear but that in the long run is not going to do nothing for your headlight health okay it's not going to do nothing for your actual headlight clarity when the headlight is performing so you kind of have to have an additive with this one if you really want to get down okay it'd be better you don't have to but it would enhance it so much so i'm saying it's incomplete but anyways this one here you can't really see because um you know i wasn't paying attention and my uh, camera's off but i put this as a number two with a five star just like this a five star with this but number two why because it's just a hair off of this one it's a little bit looser than i would like okay um and i would like it a little bit more oily it's just a hair less loose than this one and just a hair uh, less oily as this one uh, even though it is an oil base, okay, so that is a huge product. Anything on here over a two on this testing, on this test, this would suffice a uh, M in use or a live uh, uh, working. You could use this at work. You can use this working on a customer's vehicle. Anyone that's over two, and all of these are over two, okay, uh, and, and it will you can you can yield you know top notch quality results, okay. So we're checking this one out here. This is the um, okay. So there was an error here, um, pretty much when I did this. Uh, to do all this testing and do all this stuff, it took like a day or two, whatever, to do all these things, to find the time. And I got mixed up, and I wrote down my results for which is which, okay? So this one here is crossed with this one here. As you can see, I wrote the flits on this one, and then the... Uh the treatment here uh so i got them mix matched you know i started on the next morning and uh kind of mixed up stuff so this rating is actually for this polish here 
okay? And this one for that one, if hopefully that doesn't confuse you. So just flip-flop these ones. So the Fitz is going to get this rating I'm writing right now, okay? And uh, the um, I wrote all this stuff down. It's on a list. And then the Treatment is going to get the five-star number one rating, okay? The Treatment uh, behaved better. And I'll just give you a, um, a disclaimer here. This part here is picking up more light and the garage is open where there's light coming into the garage roll-up door. Okay, so sorry about that. I made a mistake there, um, but uh, the data is there and it is true. And check out this one here. Five star number one. That is equaled. That is equaled pretty much to that 3M product, almost. Okay, it's just like a it's a cut hair, you know, away from being it. Okay, if you were to cut this product with something or like the 3M, uh, you know, product that I was just using or like another water base, whatever, if you cut it with the right one, it would be really awesome uh, or just, da you know, uh, dilute it a little bit. Um, the only thing is, it's just a tad bit heavy on the oil okay so you're gonna have to run high heat over it when you're doing the polishing you're gonna have to adjust your polishing a little bit um, but the results and the ease of workingness is amazing and the saturation is amazing and the cutting is amazing uh, just make sure that you are making sure that you um, have a clean dry towel microfiber towel and you're wiping off pretty good uh, just because it sweats a little bit of that oil right when you're finished right when you're finished polishing you'll see it but anyways these three right here in the front like i showed you are going to be the top notch out of all these tests um then it comes to uh the turtle wax and the other the fits and all that stuff and then um i say this one but keep in mind this one has uh the highest cutting ability out of all of them they just uh it just doesn't have the penetrating effect or the saturation um, so look at here's a close up here. You can see it a little bit better. So just keep in mind there's plenty of things that you can use out there. Uh, for starters, I give you all these that can be used in a live situation. Speaking of live situation, got those coming up soon. All right, check them out.